All right, so it's July 4th, 2011. It's my 56th birthday. Um, so I'm going to show some of the stuff as far as that uh, I've got. That's that's uh, counts as birthday gifts. And uh, show a little bit as far as what I can do and what I'd like to be able to do. Got my assistant here, Gracie. She's going to help help me out on the on the sled pushing when we get to that. Um, and of course, we got the dogs, Crazy Daisy and, and Ace in the background there. So uh, first thing I want to say as far as my weight, I'm 203, which is a little bit on the heavy side as far as um, just the results of eating a little bit too much and the things I shouldn't eat and stuff. So I should be under 200 and stuff, but um, but it's what it is. And uh, the other thing that I want to mention as far as is burpees, as far as I've been doing burpees for the last couple of years for, for fitness stuff, um, I've been counting them, been counting them as far as how many I do for a week, how many I do for a month, a year. And I started counting them for lifetime burpees too as of um, January 1st, 2010. So as far as, so after I do these five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that makes 39,000 burpees since January 1st, 2010. And my goal is to do 400,000 by July 4th, 2025, which is my 70th birthday. So I have to kind of average about 500 a week. So, got to keep working them. So first thing I want to show is my club bells. Where I had some of these last year for presents. The other one I got that counts for a birthday present is the 20 pounder. I wanted a pair. Um, and the main things that I do with them, I'll show with the 10 pounds, is uh, front pendulums and swipes. Which are front, this is a double front pendulum as far as with two of them. And then you do double swipes. And so I got 20s and stuff so that I could you know, do the front pendulums to kind of make it more, more challenging. And last year, just what I want to show is last last year I had this 35 pounder, which is called a Bruiser Junior, and I couldn't do it. So I want to show as far as I, I can do this with the front pendulum now. Careful, so, Gracie, stay back, honey. Oh, she's fine. So that's not too bad. And then I went and I got the uh, the, the Bruiser, which is the 45 pounder, and I can do this with the front pendulum too. With my left arm. So that's that. What I'd like to be able to do next year, right now with my left arm, this is a 25 pounder. I can do swipes with this. I'd like to be able to do a one arm swipe with this, but I'm not quite able to yet right now. Right now, what it looks like is this. And I got to kind of do an assist. So, like, like that. So, Maybe next year I can do a swipe with that. Okay, the next thing that I'm gonna move to is my heavy bags. I've always, that, that's my 150, my 100. This is my birthday press right here, the 70 pounder. And this is my favorite one because you can do a lot of things with it. And I'm just gonna show one thing. It's what I call in my log, my uh, upright bag overhead hold. And it looks like this. Don't get too close now. So once I get comfortable, then I can kind of go to a to one arm one, see if I can get it. So that's that. What I'd like to be able to do next year, what I'm working on, is to lift it, hold this overhead while I walk across the balance beam. So that kind of looks like this. So get it overhead. So anyway, I'll we'll spend a lot of time in there. That's what I'd like to be able to do. Something else I got for my birthday was battle ropes. It's 100 feet. I only got a short piece here. It's probably maybe only about 25, 30. It's good conditioner. Haven't used it that much. But it looks like this. It's great. Stuff so, um it's a good conditioner. Okay, then the next thing I have that I want to show, 
This is my uh, big tire. This didn't cost me anything, gas for free. And what I use for this, I stand up and I and I uh, jump up and stand on it. So let's see if I can get one right now. It's a little tricky. I gotta find a fairly stable spot for it. Okay, so that's a standing balance. What I'd like to be able to do, of course anybody knows me, knows that I'm always thinking of doing handstands. I don't know if I can do a handstand on this, but maybe I could work up to maybe like a frog stand, or some people call them crow stands. Not up to that yet. And something else you can do with this is you can walk it. I don't play around with it too much, but you can walk in hands and feet. You can do that, but I don't play around with that much. So that's that. Then we got one last thing. Got the sled. Oh, we got one thing before that. I gotta get my hand, my hand stand in there, so I'll do it from here. So we got that, and then we'll do the sled pushing. So, so um, I made this platform so that uh, it's a little bit tricky. Gracie, can you back up just a little bit? Thank you. Oh, you're fine. Okay. What I'd like to be able to do next year is to do up on here. Problem I'm having with it is the way I approach it, I've got to do up like this. And I can't really press up very good. So kicking up, I'm not real good at. So I got some work to do on that. And the last thing, we gotta do a sled push. And Grace is gonna help me on this. So we'll get this on the road. Okay, you ready? Okay, climb in. So I'll just push it down to the first drive and back. So. A little harder pushing from here. Okay, so that's a great workout. So that's it. Just gotta keep working on this stuff and see if I can prove something. And uh, maybe I'll show you some new things next year. Okay, that's it for this year. See you next year.